G'day everyone and welcome to round four of the WA Gravity Enduro Series 2020 here at the Goat Farm. It's going to be a very exciting round tomorrow. Uh, there's a bit of breeze out today but we've actually had a lot of sunshine which has been fantastic. We are expecting a little bit of rain tomorrow so please make sure you are wearing the right uh, clothing or if you're spectating make sure you've got your, all, your big poncho on and get, weather, get ready for some wet weather riding which we're really excited to do. Uh, a, a few notes on the racing. This is going to be the race briefing for tomorrow. So there's not, they're going to have a really short race briefing uh, when you collect your wristband for your particular category, which I'll get to in a moment. The biggest change for tomorrow is the uh, location of the uh, race village. It was typically going to be up on this on the side as per the map, but it's actually going to be down here in the car park. So we're going to set up the race village down here, and it's all going to be up here as well. Uh, so a little bit of a change of scene, but it will help us set up uh, because there's going to be a few northerly winds tomorrow. We want to make sure that the race village is all bunkered down and ready to go. So the parking will be just divided over a little bit over there as well. You're still more than welcome to park in for the majority of the spot. We'll have all our gates open as well to make sure that there's plenty of parking opportunities for you as well. But just make sure you can car carpool where possible because parking is always limited here. There's also another uh, parking spot down on the, on the corner of Scotch Street and uh, Great Eastern Highway. So please feel free to go there and then it's just only just a short ride in as well. When you come to the race village tomorrow morning, please make sure you collect your race plate and your wristband. Make sure your wristband is securely fastened on your right wrist. Uh, make sure it's nice and tight because if, if it is lost or damaged, we unfortunately have to issue a $120 replacement fee. So please look after those wristbands. Then it will become time to your race briefing. Please make sure you check out the uh, race map uh, and making sure that you're following your race briefing times. It's all clearly designated which category you are in and uh, when your race briefing is and also your racing stages as well. Uh, then we will get on to uh, a little bit of the details about the racing itself. There is only one stage attempt permitted per stage. Uh, if you suffer a mechanical or if you slip off or anything like that, please make sure you go th race through to the bottom of the stage and, and tag off. Uh, it is only one stage attempt per stage, so please make sure you're doing the right thing, getting all the way down to the bottom, and then you've got uh, all your cumulative time coming together and all your points as well for the series standings. Uh, please make sure that if you are doing a little bit of sneaky practice in the morning, you stay clear of stages 6 and stage 7. That's where our whippets will be racing first thing in the morning. So there's absolutely no practice permitted on stages 6 or stage 7. Now let's get to the uh, uh, racing for the whippets. You'll be first off the rank. Your race briefing is at 8.15 tomorrow. So please make sure you come to the race briefing uh, nice and uh, prompt at 8.15 uh, down in the car park here. And we'll get you guys racing as quickly as possible. We want all the fast riders, or if you're in the top half of all, the whippets racing to go to stage six uh, so we're going to split you guys up there's, there's 60 of you we want 30 going to stage six and we want 30 of you going uh, and 30 of you going to stage seven so if you're in the uh, 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 women whippets under nine or the women whippets under 13 or if you're in the slower part of the men under 13 whippets please go to stage seven and then you'll finish your course and go over to stage six if you're much faster guys in the men under 13 whippets head to stage six You'll complete your course and then go down to stage seven. Uh, make sure, obviously, you've got your race plates on the front of your bike and you've got your full face helmet and wearing all your safety gear for your whippets. For those whippets, that's about it for the briefing. You can cut off here and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. For the rest of the field, please make sure as well that you've got your full face helmet, all your safety equipment, and uh, you're riding only the stages you are permitted to do so. Uh, we'll have a, your race briefing will again be very short in the morning. We want to make sure you guys are ready, locked and loaded, heading up to those stages as quickly as, as possible. We want to have all our racing done, even though we have said uh, estimated pres estimated finish is 115. We really want to pair that back as quickly as we can. As soon as you finish your race, come back to the race village and uh, 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 check in your timing chip. Then you'll get your race printout. And then as soon as we've accounted for all those riders, we really want to have our presentations on as quickly as possible to avoid any storms that might come in the afternoon. Uh, the ambulance will be located here as well. Uh, if you need any first aid attention and you can make your way here, come back to the race village. We do have uh, the uh, paramedics here. We also have the St. John ambulance as well. So we've got a few crews out uh, again tomorrow as we had at York. 
uh, as well as for the safety side of things. Spectators, please make sure that you stand at least two metres off the trail at all time. Uh, the riders can get a little bit creative and choose different line choice that you had no idea was possible. Uh, and uh, so you don't want to get cleaned up. So please make sure, spectators, you stay at least two metres back uh, from the stages at all times. And spectators, please make sure you're wearing your poncho or other wet weather gear uh, because it might be useful to have that tomorrow. And just a reminder, guys, this is enduro racing. That means we are sticking to the trails at all times. We've been out here bunting for multiple hours trying to get all this course set up. So please make sure you respect our bunting uh, and stick to those trails at all times. Anyone caught leaving the track uh, in any at any point to try and cut corners or cut lines will be instantly disqualified and you'll be banned for two rounds. So please make sure that you stick uh, to the courses that are clearly lined out with the bunting. Uh, if you do accidentally come off the, the track, please make sure you re-enter the track where you came off. So there's no shortcutting, no line cutting or anything like that. Obviously a huge thanks to our sponsors, uh, Lingo Longer Bike Park and Empire Cycles and huge thanks as well to the support, support from uh, Frank's Mountain Bike Apparel, r and Suspension Specialists, it's Prestige Loans and Wealth Creation, Loose Riders Perth, Jump and Pump Nation, Specialised, CMR, uh, Tech, Bike Collect who will also be here for some mechanical support tomorrow, uh, Bell Design and Construct and uh, the Humble Bike Co. As usual, uh, we really want to make this a COVID a safe event, so if you can tr try and stay at least one and a half metres from everyone out there, please wash your hands. We do have some hand sanitising stations around here as well. Uh, and if you're feeling unwell, or uh, please make sure you let us know and pull out of the event. We will transfer your entry to anyone who's unwell. We want to make sure that everyone who is here is uh, fighting fit and healthy to make sure that we're limiting any potential spread of COVID-19 that could be within the community. Fortunately, we are in Western Australia, which is the best state in Australia and uh, we haven't got many problems with that in that regard. Uh, toilets are down here as well, parking is all here, I've been through all that. Uh, we will have a little bit of water but please as usual make sure you are self-sufficient uh, bringing all your water and all your essentials that you need to when you're out racing uh, or when you're out on the trails. That's about it guys for uh, the race briefing for today. I uh, hope you stay safe out there. Again rides are the conditions, they'll be very different uh, we expect from today's practice till tomorrow. So ride to your skill set, ride to the conditions and make sure you stay in one piece, get down to the bottom of the hill and have, uh, have a lot of fun. I won't reiterate exactly what stages you will be doing. We'll go through that very quickly tomorrow morning. Uh, but please only race those stages that you are assigned to in the race in the, on the course map. There. Stay safe, guys. Get out there, have a bit of fun, and enjoy on.